There has been some recent debates over how to properly do a side profile and I'm not really here to go and critique other people's art since I'm not a professional and that just seems a little rude to do as such a small creator so I decided to go for something better. I'm going to be fixing my old art and thankfully I was a brave little artist who attempted a side profile. I found this in my old Google Plus archive in like 2016 and I was 10 back then. Not bad for my first attempt attempt, but there's some easy fixes to make it more appealing. Don't get me wrong, this drawing is super cute and I'm still proud of myself for pulling it off, but once I trace the shapes here, it doesn't look so pretty. Usually how I approach a side profile, I draw a circle and draw a guideline a little lower than halfway for the eyes. Then I draw a muzzle shape for the nose and mouth, and then the jaw ends at a third of the circle. The bottom of the nose and the top of the eyes is where the ears go. Wow, that's a drastic difference. There's another popular way to draw a side profile but it can be misleading. You draw the nose and then take it straight down but it's easy to use it incorrectly because my attempt doesn't look right. For me, a curved line works best. It's like adding a tiny triangle at the bottom for the chin. Going back to the original, let's apply what we know or learned. We need to make the circle bigger and stretch it to be a little like an oval. You also gotta keep in mind that whoever we're drawing has a big old brain with lots of knowledge so they need room for that knowledge. Make that forehead bigger then you gotta make sure those eyes are facing forward. Eyeballs are spheres and the eyelids wrap around them. We are unlike deers, so our eyes look more like triangles at its side. Drop that nose bridge just a bit, place the ears and BAM! Looks better with just a few adjustments. Just to really show that that's all we gotta do to start off, I'm gonna skew the original drawing as well, before and after. I'm gonna start reimagining this drawing so I'll be back once I got some more tips to share. I'm in the middle of doing some line art and I thought it would be a good time to note the lack of contrast in the original drawing. Look at the difference that's supplied with just one harsh shadow. Trying grayscale might help if you struggle with that. Color-wise, I think I had a good understanding of what pairs well together. I really want her to stand out with her bright colors, so I'm going to make the background dark. She's looking too flat, shadows will definitely help with that. So I added some lighting and color adjustments to fit my aesthetic for the final results, and I also skewed the proportions to match the original. A little bit of nightmare fuel, but it shows a huge drastic change. I tried my best to keep her features and expression the same. I think I successfully redrew her. Let me know if you agree in the comments. This drawing is up on all my other platforms, so check out the bio to see where you can find me. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe and leave a comment on what else you'd like to see. Thank you and have a lovely day.